No, it wasn't as easy as it looked, and I think Kenny Dalgleish himself hinted that perhaps it, it did flatter Liverpool just a little. Uh, but sort of quickly adding that there have been plenty of occasions this season when uh, you know their performances uh, have deserved more than they've got. So you know I don't think it was ruined his luck in any way, and, and nor would you expect him to. But I think for for the first um, after getting the early goal, um, for the first 40 minutes or so, um, Brighton almost gave as good as they got, and possibly some would say you know better than they got off Liverpool. They were neat and tidy in their passing. They got a very good goal back. And um, you know, it looked like they were going to go into half time on level terms till Liverpool got that uh, uh, second just before half time. Um, it was a different story in the second half. Liverpool pushed up uh, much more on their back line, um, and they didn't have the time and space to play it out from defence as they had in the first half. And then the quality told, and, and, and the look was on Liverpool's side a little bit as well. But they thoroughly deserved, I think, most of that look. They were, in the end, by far the better side. But uh, I think a few people did feel a little bit sorry, sorry for Brighton to, to be uh, humiliated there because they probably didn't deserve it. And lots of standout performers. Is it a bit of a selection headache ahead of the Carlin Cup final for Kenny now? Um, there probably is, but as all managers say, it's a nice one to have, isn't it? Um, you you want to be in that position. I think Daniel Agger and Craig Bellamy, the indications are that they'll be fit and available uh, for selection. Um, and there are plenty of people who'd say they, they will be on any uh, team sheet that Kenny Douglas uh, would, would uh, want to pick for a game like this. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, a lot of players did themselves uh, no harm whatsoever uh, uh, against Brighton. Um, Andy Carroll did very well and scored a terrific goal, um, the sort of goal that we saw him banging in for Newcastle, so he's looking to be improving all the time now. Um, Stuart Downing had probably his best game in the Liverpool shirt as well. And I thought both full backs, Glenn Johnston and Jose Enrique, Enrique, were terrific as well and threats going forward. So good performances uh, all over the field and, and yeah, a real uh, selection dilemma now for Kenny Dalglish. And a uh, draw for the quarterfinals have thrown up Stoke. Bit of a bogey side for the Reds in recent years, but. Uh, can, can you sense another trip to Wembley on the cards this season and possible meeting with Everton at some stage? It's the quarter-final, so inevitably people start to uh, to think about it uh, and to sort of dream about it. Uh, and, but it's a bit early for that, really. Liverpool are playing Premiership opposition. They've got home advantage, which is very important, of course. But Stoke, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're a difficult team to play against and they're a difficult team to break down. Um, you know, they could have been uh, tougher for Liverpool. They could have been away, and they could have been away to uh, a Tottenham or a Chelsea or an Everton, indeed. Uh, but if they can uh, make home advantage count again, then I think they can really start to, to dream about what what might happen of course with the semis played at Wembley nowadays a win at Anfield means they are back at Wembley but I don't think to a man of uh, Kenny Dalglish's uh, age and tradition being at Wembley in a semi-final really counts for much being at Wembley in a final and winning that final will be what counts and uh, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge yet